talking, yes. and you're here. What, what does this event mean to you, Mr. Patton? Well, it means to me that I understand the chant, uh, no peace. Without jobs, there can be no peace. Without education, there can be no peace. Without a fair and just government, there can be no peace. And I understand that. And I intend to help implement fairness and just, bring some jobs to Clevelanders, and do some things as the mayor of this city. I don't walk in these marches for show. I'm walking them for gold because I believe in the cause. I actually, I noticed that I seen, you actually started at the beginning at 55th where everybody else was. You didn't, you was walking, you know, you was there at the beginning. And it, it kind of like lets me know that you got that, that community connection. Even though you're not from Cleveland, you've got that connection to the community. And that's something that's kind of rare that we're not really feeling with our, our politicians that we're trying to elect and the ones that we have elect. But I do feel that that sense of community is, is a high priority on your list. And, and I, I know education somewhere fits in there when you love the community. Well, you have to. There is no way out of uh, this kind of uh, malaise that we find ourselves in or our children in without them being educated. The opportunity to learn, to grow, lies in a good education. And without that, I don't know where we go. That's the number one priority for me as a mayor. Because when I look around, I know that there is no way out if you can't read, write, and do the necessary things to function in society. Well, now I got one more question about education. They had a community meeting, and I'm sure you just didn't know about it. Uh, it was on the 14th, and they were saying how Cleveland School has now changed the standards of rating schools. And when I mean that, I mean a school that's, that's rated excellent in Indiana, uh, is, is excellent everywhere in all 50 states, but whereas a school in Cleveland, Ohio, that's rated excellent, is actually not being compared on the national level with the other schools on excellence. And how do you feel about that? Well, you must measure with the same stick. You can't measure with different sticks. And anybody who's doing that is cheating the person who they're measuring for. So we have to do the same thing other people people do if we expect the same results. And anybody who shortens the stick is playing games. And I thank you. We needed to know that and where you stood. Thank you.